Another one. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? We didn't push these down, did we? It's alive! Oh shit! Uh kick that shit. Kick that shit. Hey! Fuck! Ooh! Wow! He separated it! And still not dead? There we go. Push into the fence. Smart move, man. Oh shit, it's right behind us. Go, 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 go! Thank you, they stopped it. Dude, if we didn't have this tractor, we'd be fucked, dude. <laughs> Wow, that was close, dude. We got attacked by dudes shooting arrows. But why did the fence come on? Lee, what's wrong? Uh, Alright, the electric fence came on. It was an ambush. Goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with this arrow in my back. Don't worry about it. Was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn, it hurts. I can only imagine it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my God, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. All right. Well, you must be the best. What man kind of here. shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. So why are they back now? Damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. All right, it was a fluke. So much for your understanding. It was a fluke. It was just a fluke thing. Can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor end. True. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. All right. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor. Ah, oh, they're gonna butt heads All of us again. Our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do any. Oh, now you like the place, of course. Now you like it. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Okay. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my tree house. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. All right. Let's go talk to the kids. Look like they're having fun. Hey, Clint. Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Maybe later. Maybe later, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, no I'll push her now. Oh, well, it's too late. All right, how are you doing? I'm holding up, Clementine. I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Yeah, lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. 
Okay. I've only had to abandon two people so far. Not bad. Alright, we're safe here. What do you think of the dairy? What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? No, we're screwed. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure when. You shared hope with her. Things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Alright, we're safe here. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. I've got some things to take care of. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Alright. Talk to, uh, what's his name? Kenny. Eagerly pushing his son. What the heck? That's not talking to Kenny. That's walking away from him. What? Talk to Kenny. Talk to... Oh, he's probably walking around to talk to Kenny. I see. Hey. Hey, Lee. How's it going with the St. John's? Good. I was talking to Andy earlier and offered our group's assistance on the dairy. I don't think they have much to protect them besides the fence. Though he seemed pretty appreciative. Great. Sounds like they're starting to accept us. Definitely. Alright, Lily doesn't want to be here. Your family made it here okay? Did Duck and Katja get here okay? Now it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. That's funny. He didn't seem too worried about Duck when Larry wanted to throw him out into the street back Are you kidding me? Shut up! Pass, Kenny. I try. I said let's reason with yeah, him. Right. I didn't want to take the hard end. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Lily's judgment is clouded. But you got a pretty clear head about well, this Well, picked a side. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. Sounds like they're pretty amped up about it. This might oh be boy, this isn't good. Trust. Good idea. Shit, man. Plus, the two, th the two things I messed up on are stupid. Because, uh... So stupid. I didn't immediately want to jump to conclusions. That's the reason with him. You know? But no, you wanted to reason? Fuck you. You have to pick a side. So silly. Look at the generator. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Wow, you don't say. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Yeah, but why did it come on? It shouldn't have come on at all. A saw. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Yeah, but the thing is, the fence should have never come on in the first place, because he said, Don't worry, go out and check the fence. I won't do anything. And then it comes on, randomly. A hay pile. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Where's the cornfield? So stupid. I've done everything I possibly can for Larry and his family. Except I said to reason with Larry when he was arguing with Kenny. And then that screwed me over. Because now he's like, oh, you weren't trying to protect my son. I said to reason. Okay? Reason does not mean I don't care about your son. It means let's come to an understanding. But no, of course not. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Uh, how do you feel about the motor in? I take it you and Kenny haven't I made up. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view. Having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. 
I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Aw, oh, shit. Uh, Kenny still believes there's still hope. Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. Alright, whatever you say. Conversations are getting pretty stupid. What's this? Back here. Look at the cornfield. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. True. What's that on the floor? You see that on the floor? Oh, there's no icon next to it. It's just a white lump itself. Barn door. Is it locked? There's not enough room in the house for all of us. I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. That it? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess. Yeah, you can't go in. Camp out here in shifts. Oh, nice! <laughs> you can freeze yourself walking into this pole. All right, looks like there's nothing else. Wait, what's this? Hay bales. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows if that becomes a problem. Okay, let's go back. So silly. It's like, it's, it's, it's just video game logic, you know? You don't know, like, you want to say something like it, but you would say it differently in a way that you feel would be better. But you can't because it's a video game. You have to choose what the game is pre-selected for you. It's just video game uh, problems. That's all it is. How you feeling, Pete? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there, uh we should have told you how dangerous it was. You no should shit. start by telling me so how why the fence fight. came on. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Ooh, Hell yeah! In the woods. <laughs> some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. Which is so all the are time. Ready to head out there and find their camp. All right, hold on one sec. Let's go. We gotta work together. What the hell? I'm the dropping shit. Danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Let's go. We're so screwed. They still never explain why the fence came on all of a sudden, dude. He said he wasn't going to turn it back on because he knew we were out there. See anything? Not yet. It's a Campbell soup can. Here. Yeah, oh, look at that. Shit. You found it. Quiet, we're only doing reconnaissance. We're not doing anything major. empty sneak up to the camp you see anybody can't tell looks empty stay on your guard stay on your guard Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. This is so fishy, dude. Aw, oh, shit. Music. Dramatic music. A zombie in there, watch. Empty?